All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Happy to have you. My name is Alina. I am a wellness advocate with doTERRA, and I'm a big fan of educating people on how to use essential oils. Um, I absolutely love using them. Essential oil is a huge tool in my everyday life. Um, you know, when you usually start using essential oils, it starts with your specific health goals and your needs. And lately, <laughs> my specific goals and needs have been mental health and wellness, working with anxiety and stress. And that's kind of where my main focus has been going towards on at least a personal level. So we got this class and wanted to share a little bit more power of what the adaptive essential oil does and how well it can help you with your system. Um, I personally have been suffering from anxiety since I was a kid. I remember my mom used to give me these little worry dolls and I would put them under and she's like, every worry you have, take the doll and put the worry and then put it underneath your pillow and it'll go away. So I remember that as being like one of the tools I used to have as a kid. So as we get into adult life, our toolbox sort of shifts a little bit. I don't have the little dolls anymore, but I have my yoga, I have my friends, I have my community, I have my essential oils, and they've been just such a really big help for my everyday life. That's why we love to share the power of it. So again, my name is Alina, and I'll go ahead and let Laura and Erica introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Laura. Um, I love this topic of mental wellness because it's something that I've struggled with for a long time now. Um, but it's so, so great that we've come to figure out like a lot of the tools that we can use on our daily lives, on our selves and those around us to help us like calm the nerves, calm anxiety, calm stress. Um, so definitely something that everyone experiences, uh, sometimes in different levels, at different frequencies and different heights, but it's something that definitely is very important to approach. And that's one of the things that I love the most. Hi everyone, my name is Erica, and I've been using the essential oils, specifically doTERRA for about a year now. Um, I got into them honestly just for the smell and I thought they smelled nice, but as soon as I started using them for my health concerns, I realized how well they worked. And um, then I just wanted to share with everybody and tell everybody how amazing they were. And so um, that's about it. I use pretty much um, the oils all day long from beginning of the morning to the end of the afternoon. One of my favorite, favorite ones is the turmeric right now. And um, obviously the adaptive, I diffuse all day and I've been diffusing it in the office as well. I work at a chiropractic office. And everyone comes in and they're like, oh, it smells so good. And then the big smile comes on their face. So I know it's working. All right. So the goal of this class is to empower you. We're going to go over the three cool things about essential oils, the three ways to use them. We will discuss the adaptive system and why it's developed and the reason for it, um, the three types of people, and then how you can get essential oils into your home. So the three cool things about essential oils, uh, they're safe, they're effective, and they're affordable. So um, they're, first of all, they're safe. They're 100% natural. There is nothing added to the oil or taken away from the oil. They're just simply pure essential oils with no side effects, no addictions. They're safe for babies, for children, for adults, for pets, like kitties and puppies. Um, they're also, there are extracts from plants, so they have amazing benefits. A pure oil is about 50 to 70 times more potent than dry herbs. And one drop of, for example, peppermint equals to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So they're really, really, really potent. What, one of the things that I love about essential oils, our essential oils, is that they are CPTG, so they are, which stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. And it means that these oils are completely pure and they're potent. Pure meaning that there is no foreign contaminants, no fillers on them. And potent means that each plant was grown in the part of the world where the plant grows best. That results in uh, absolutely the best chemistry for that plant. So it has an ideal natural chemistry. The essential oil extracted 
that's exactly what we needed to do and what we needed for our health. Health. Oh, hold on, let me minute. let this person in. Okay. Second cool thing is that they are effective. Um, more than like modern approaches to healthcare problems. So let's say that this is a cell in your body and we know that cells have like oily membranes. The cell membranes protects the cell and it keeps all the good things inside and all the bad things outside. Now the things that are harmful to our cells are like bacteria and like viruses. Bacteria usually forms on the outside of the cell and then viruses duplicate DNA on the inside of the cell. So all you have to remember is that the bacteria is on the outside and then the viruses are on the inside. So what essential oils do is that they're oil, they're plant-based, um, which means the composition of that oil is similar to the composition of our own cells in our bodies. So in that they can penetrate and permeate that cell membrane. So it works at a cellular level without side effects, without any addictions. They help to combat like the bacteria that lays on the outside and prevent the duplication of that virus on the inside. This is what they're a lot of times are more effective than um, other modern approaches in like the healthcare world. The last thing is that they're affordable. So they're more affordable than traditional medical care. We spend, you know, with thousands, thousands of dollars on healthcare every year all around the world. Uh, so they're a lot more affordable. They're pennies per dose and you save hundreds of medical, of money on medical costs. And now I'll tell you guys three ways to use the oils. You can use them aromatically, topically, and internally. The first way is um, aromatically. So as soon as you um, inhale or smell an oil, it takes about 22 seconds to take effect. Usually it gives you a positive effect. The oils also cleanse the air if you diffuse them. If you diffuse um, oils in your house, usually the effect it lasts in the air about 24 hours. It also supports the respiratory system. So for example, if you're diffusing peppermint, it's really gonna support your lungs, help you breathe better. And um, that's about it. So also aromatically, you can just put a couple drops in your palm, rub your palms together, take a couple deep breaths in. And then you can also put them in jewelry. I was wearing this little necklace today. So you just um, unscrew the top, put a couple drops in there, and then you can wear it at, around your neck and then you have the aromatic effect all day long. The next one is topically. So with the oils, since they're so pure, you wanna be really careful when you're using them topically. The citrus oils in particular, they, um, you need to be careful when you go out in the sun. Um, if you have sensitive skin, um, it could burn your skin. Also, you want to dilute the oils. You can use fractionated coconut oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, jojoba oil. So if, when you dilute the oils, it's about one drop of the oil and then three drops of the carrier oil. And then when you, when you use them topically, you can roll them at the bottom of your feet, the back of your neck, um, your temples. Also, doTERRA carries the little rollers and they're already diluted and ready to go. So you just um, unroll the top and then you just roll it on your neck or wherever you need it. And then the third way is internally. So I do two drops of copaiba every day under the tongue. You can also um, use the oils in your smoothies. I use orange in my water. doTERRA also sells veggie caps so you can fill up. Um, and then a good way to know if you can take the oils internally is that they'll have supplement facts on them. So I don't know if you guys could see that, but if it has a supplement fact, then it's usually safe to take internally. And if you guys have any questions, just reach out to us. We can't hear you, Laura. Every time. All right, <laughs> this is our spotlight oils. So the first one that we wanna talk about is the blue. 
um, which helps to soothe the muscles, the joints, uh, head and neck tension. I love using this after like working out, uh, after having like an intense day. It's really nice for the muscles. I know Alina's son loves to put him in his legs because he makes him feel like super happy and great. Um, so it's one of like a great oil for any kind of soothing for that part of the body. Um, our breathe oil, the respiratory support, uh, helps for seasonal threats and snoring. Uh, we use this one in yoga a lot because it's awesome. And uh, it helps to open up the airways really nice. Um, I use it a lot when I have allergies because I have a lot of allergies. So this is one of my favorite ones to diffuse. I diffuse it at night and I diffuse it like during the day at home just to clear out a little bit more. Uh, the Digest Zen is an awesome oil for anything digestive. So in digestion, motion sickness, sinuses, anything that comes in like the belly, even like um, that time of the month, that pain, um, it really, really helps to soothe that belly, to soothe the body and to help support that digestive system. The fourth one, the On Guard, is one that we've been using a lot, a lot, a lot, especially lately. Uh, it's a great, um, it's a combination of oils for the immune support. Uh, we use it for cleaning, for oral health. doTERRA does all their um, products that are the cleaning products that doTERRA has. They come from the On Guard line. So definitely it's a great one to have in your pocket just to to prevent and to help with those with the immune system. This fifth one is called Balance. I love this oil because it's very grounding. So every time that um, you have a stress, you have anxiety, it's a calming oil, it relaxes you, it helps to bring you back to earth. A lot of times, sometimes we're up here and like in our heads or anything, so it helps to really put it down. Oh, one second. Got it. Okay, there she is. Um, the next one is one that we're going to talk about a little bit more in depth later. It's called Adaptive. Uh, it is for stress, anxiety, for calming, for when you're overwhelmed. Um, so every time that I have like a really like bad anxiety, this is one of my favorite oils to put in my skin, to diffuse, to put a like, rub around my earlobes, to rub around my chest. And um, it's one of the greatest things to like, it really helps you like calm down as soon as you start feeling like a little bit anxious. The last one uh, is Copaiba. Uh, it helps to, that's the one that Erica was just talking about that she takes internally daily. Uh, it helps to soothe sore muscles, joints, is calming as well for anxious feelings. Uh, this is also good for teeth and for so many, so many, so many different things. It's a great oil to have in your pocket as well. Then we have peppermint. So peppermint is very cooling, it's very energetic. It helps with head tension and it's seasonal support. It also helps to open up the airways when you wanna breathe a little bit deeper and uh, it helps for any of those like allergy times of the times. Lemon is great for cleansing, for detoxifying. Uh, it also helps for seasonal threats. So the first three, peppermint, lemon, and lavender, those three, when you combine them together, it's a really great like allergy shot that you can either take as a shot, you can put it on the diffuser, or you can like put them and like smell them together and it helps to really open up the airways, those three to combine together. Um, lemon is also great for digestive support. Uh, I love cleaning with lemon, uh, all the surfaces around like the house and stuff like that. I also put it in the water um, to drink it internally because it's a cleanser. So it's one of those oils that has a lot of different uses. Lavender. So lavender is super calming for anything stress, anxiety related, uh, skin irritations. I burn myself a couple times cooking. <laughs> So this is one of my favorite oils to put, like to soothe the skin as soon as like something happens and to like calm the skin, the skin down. Uh, that one combined with tea tree are like my go-to anything skin related issues. And it's my go-to oil for sleep. Uh, when I started using uh, the essential oils, I started using them because I, was, I had a lot of anxiety, stress, and I had issues uh, with insomnia. So I sleep train myself with this lavender oil. I would use it only for sleeping every single night until my brain got used to like 
okay, it's like you're smelling the oil, you're tired, you should go to sleep, like until you train yourself to do that. Uh, so that's one of the great things I love about that oil. Frankincense is the go-to essential oil, is the king of all oils. Um, when in doubt, always use frankincense. I think Alina says, when in doubt, frank it out. But yeah, it's like it helps to glow in, anything glowing skin for aches and discomfort, anything head tension. Uh, I've put this one in my dog when he has, like, he gets a scar sometimes because he is a little naughty. So I've used it on his, like, skin or when he's, like, super stressed out. Uh, he's, like, afraid of, like, loud noises. I put, like, lavender and frankincense and thing, and he, like, calms down. So it's super nice. Oregano. So this one is a hot oil. So anytime you use it on, like, your skin, you should be super, super careful and dilute it a lot. Uh, but it's good for skin imperfections. It's amazing for immune support. Anytime that I'm sick, this is what I use, the oregano. Um, and it also smells amazing, so it's really great for cooking. Um, but yes, it's a hot oil, so always, always be a little bit mindful when you want to put it on the skin. The last one is tea tree or malaleuca. So this one, I talked about it a little bit above. Uh, it's good for any skin irritations, any burns, any, anything on your skin. Um, it's good for sinus and immune support and for a healthy scalp. Um, the supplements. So the base uh, to a good mental wellness is, and the whole body wellness is um, the lifelong vitality vitamins, which are the three vitamins kind of in the middle. The EO, uh, the omegas, which is all your omegas, those are good for brain health. The middle is gonna be like your salad in a bottle. It's got all your vitamins and minerals. And then the next one, the alpha CRS, is gonna be um, cellular health. So it's got all the herbs that you need. It's got um, a little boost of energy, so those are awesome. They work really good. I love the Lifelong Vitality. I've been taking them probably for, I guess, almost a year, maybe like eight months. And I noticed um, a difference probably about two weeks in, I noticed a difference. And then um, every couple of months I noticed a new change, which is awesome. I really like the vitamins also because they have the essential oil digest Zen in them. So they're very easy on the stomach. Um, next to the, those are the PB assist and the Terrazyme. The probiotic assist is a probiotic and a prebiotic. And those actually come in dual um, capsule dual chamber capsules. And um, I just put my mom on those and she really likes them. The Terrazyme is really good to break down food. So if you're gonna have a heavy meal, maybe like a pizza or something like that, you would take some Terrazyme and it helps break down all the food. It also helps with absorption to um, absorb all your vitamins and minerals. And then the two on the left are really good for mental wellness as well. We have the Adaptive, that's the new uh, line that doTERRA came out with. And then the Serenity sleep caps um, are really good for restful sleep, obviously. All right, uh, so movement, mental wellness protocols. So daily activity is critical component for any mental health uh, wellness program. So as you know, um, we want to move our bodies. Our bodies need to move, and it's good to keep them fluid, to keep moving our bodies in different ways, whether you choose to do yoga, whether you choose to run, whether you choose to meditate, like, or not meditate, but a little bit more of movement. Whatever you choose to do, um, it's good for the body to do that, to be moving around. And when you do do that and your muscles get sore, um, this is a line that is super, super recommended. Uh, I talked about it a little bit earlier when I talked about the oil, it's called the deep blue oil. So here they have all different things. So it's um, the deep blue oil on the left, then they have those two in the back is the gigantic one, is the cream. It's in a bigger um, presentation. And then the smaller one extreme is also a cream, but they're made with the deep blue. So um, this is a, one that is like really nice to like put on your legs like after like running or something like intense that you do. And it feels super like tingly. It feels like, um, it's like the, the Terra version of the Vicks. So it's really nice or the, yeah. Is that what, yeah. And then uh, the deep blue capsules, um, I've used them before. Like if I'm feeling super, super sore, 
uh, or like I just have like pain. I've used those before to help calm that down. The deep blue roller, it's um, the oil plus fractionated coconut oil in a roller. I love like just rubbing that like maybe like around the neck. It feels like super nice for anything neck related. And then those two are just little samples of the deep blue in the bottom. So essential oils, sometimes they get confused with being magical <laughs> and they are pretty magical in their own sense. So there's a whole science that goes behind the power of essential oils. And all, um, all essential oils have um, terpene components in it. And those are the chemical makeup that creates the essential oil. So for instance, like lavender is calming, it's an antihistamine. So it's terpenes have more calming complex in it. Um, citruses are mood boosting, they're uplifting. So they have that also sort of terpene or chemical in it. So again, all these essential oils have their specific ways of how they can help you. But one of my favorite ways, I like to organize information or have it organized for me. <laughs> and I, like, I love how um, they, describe the essential oils based on the type of plant that it is. So we have it divided by mints, citruses, spices, herbs and grasses, trees and florals. And so on an emotional level, you can divide up your emotions based on those specific oils. So for instance, citruses, again, are mood boosting and uplifting. So if you're feeling discouraged, gloomy, or distressed, you want to go grab your wild orange or your lemon. Uh, for Mints. Mints are really great to calm anxiety down, to help um, support any insecurities. Um, they're also uplifting as well. So if you're feeling anxious or insecure, you can grab your mint. Florals are if you're feeling fearful, worried, or hurt. If you're having a lot of like heartaches or pains, florals are really great to help focus on those specific emotions. If you are feeling sad or grieving, um, trees are really great as well. So we're talking about cedarwood, frankincense, copaiba, will be really good to help you if you're in that sort of a mood. Then if you're bitter, angry, discontented, you're gonna wanna reach for your herbs and your grasses. So basil, vetiver, um, those sort of oils are gonna help. And then lastly, we can reach for the spices. So cinnamon, cassia, um, if you're somber, if you're bored, disinterested, then you can reach for spices. So it's, for me, it's really fun on if you look at the emotional wheel of how you're feeling within that moment and you can reach for whatever essential oil that you have and its chemical components are gonna help shift and then create that mood boosting and uplifting thing. So it's really cool. This is one of my favorite things when I was first learning about oils. So how you feel emotionally becomes how you feel physically. Um, whatever that you put in your body, whatever you eat, whatever you think, uh, whatever conversations that you're having with people, what you watch on TV, what you listen to the radio, whatever information you're putting in your brain that you're constantly listening to, all that affects your emotional and an emotional level. And whatever affects your emotional level is going to become your physical level. A lot of times we hold on to emotions in different parts of our body. For example, our legs carry a lot of like things from our past. So they get stuck, things that we never dealt with. Sometimes get stuck in our legs and our hips. We feel like a little bit of pain in the hips. We feel a little pain in the hamstrings. Um, a lot of recent presence stressors, they help a lot in like the shoulders, the neck, the whatever's happening right now in the moment that is stressing us or distressing us, it's hold on to like this upper part of the body. I remember um, my cousin, um, like 15 years ago, he got hit by a very, a very small car, um, but it was a, one of those really old cars that are very strong with a window, with a mirror thing on the side. So he got sh hit right on his shoulder. And every single time after that, that like, he would get stressed out, he would feel it right there on the shoulder, like that plate or whatever metal thing he had like on his shoulder. So he had to learn how to like calm himself a little bit down because every time that he would get too stressed out, he immediately felt it in that particular place. So I know, for example, for me, when I get, um, when I overbook myself and I like stress my, like when I have so many things to do and I get super stressed out, I immediately, I get sick. 
I'm like, my body's like, no, you're not doing any of that because you just like overstress yourself out. So my body's like, bye-bye, you give up. So the body does whatever it is that we, we are giving ourselves emotionally. Our body is projecting that emotions into it. And it's true with what Laura says, because well, we're both yoga teachers and we see that a lot when we teach and practice yoga, or if we feel it when we practice yoga, that we hide our stressors in different parts of our body. And I always, something I always say is your physical body doesn't lie. So, I mean, if I train myself to run a marathon, I can run the marathon. But if I were to go outside right now and try to run a marathon, I'd probably fall over within like a quarter of a mile because we have to train and create this within our body. So again, the physical body doesn't lie. When we're feeling these emotions and things are being stored into it, it can just show up and it shows up in different ways. So we all experience the challenges of stress in various forms. And again, it, it shows up differently for each one of us, the way that we react to it, the way that we cope with it, and then the how long we're in that moment. Um, the biggest thing is, is it's okay to feel, it's okay to be in that moment, but how long are we going to allow ourselves to be in that state before we reach for a specific tool to help kind of help us cope or to bring us out of it? So we have the stress access. So it's like a little domino effect that happens with our, our stress. So first we have a stressful event. So whatever that might be, it could be something simple. Like last night I ordered something and I ordered from the wrong place and I had to drive a lot further. So it was a stressful event, <laughs> but you know, you can you work through it. How long can you be mad? Or again, going through another stressful event. I have really elderly dogs right now that I have at home and trying to take care of. And you have this thing that's happening at home and in your everyday life. So now your stress for whatever's coming up, it creates a chemical response in our body. We don't see it, we feel it, maybe we not feel it right away, but it'll show up in the way that we act, the way that we move, the way that we communicate with it. And so then our chemical response again shows, shows up in that physiological changes and then we have feedback. So we wanna go back and create this balance within our system so we can break up this access of stress that's being created. So our psychological changes, um, they show up in different ways, just like Alina just said. So one of them can be like lack of energy, if we're really tired, if we're really like having a lot of things in our minds. Sometimes we just wanna like hide and like go into ostrich mode and then just like stick our head in the sand and like just be like super tired and like lack of that energy. Um, sometimes it creates a metabolic change in our bodies. Uh, sometimes our immune system, just like I was mentioning earlier, when I get too stressed out, I get sick because my immune system is, it just reacts like that um, because of all the stress that I put into it. Um, it, also it also represents itself in cognitive disruption. Um, this one is common. It shows up in skin concerns. When we get stressed out, sometimes like you get like little things around your skin, around your body, and like you know that is coming from like hormones or like changes or things that you're doing or things that you're eating. Um, this one is common obviously as well, cardiovascular distress, our heart begins to pump a little bit faster. Uh, and it might cause something like even worse at some point, depends on how you learned how to manage that stress and that anxiety and those difficulties. And then this one is also common, it's a digestive difficulty. When we are stressed out or like, sometimes when we anticipate something and like we're nervous, our stomach like immediately goes to our stomach. And we're like, oh my God, like our stomach just feels really bad because we're really anxious or stressed or like, you're anticipating something. So we're going to go over um, to elevate how to elevate your life through the adaptive system. And it's a system for a healthy mind. Adaptive came out last year through doTERRA, and it was one of their newest blends. But it was really neat to see all the studies that doTERRA did and then the feedback from a lot of the customers that have been trying this essential oil. And we can dive a little bit deeper into what's in this powerful blend, then it starts to make sense about why it helps so quickly. 
So we have the science of the adaptive blend. It's a calming blend. And then they have, it comes in a couple of different forms. We have a capsule form, so it's a supplement. And then we also have a topical and aromatic form, which is the essential oils. But the um, adaptive blend has a propriety essential oil blend. So combination of different essential oils blended into it. It has a root called, if I can pronounce it right, I was practicing it today, Sclectium <laughs> root. Then you have the ahi flower, and then we have our GABA, the gamma amino butyric acid, which are the combination of the powerful blend that makes adaptive so strong. So we have two critical pathways when we're focusing on our stress. So the first one is our central nervous system, the neurotransmitters. And then the second is our olfactory pathway, which is the cortisol, which we can go through um, inhalation and breathing. So we're going to go over the nervous system first and how adaptive approaches it. So we have our systemic pathway, which is our neurological and our biochemical. And then we have our limbic system, which is our behavior, our thoughts, and our emotions. So one of the first um, powerful things that the adaptive blend has in it is the GABA, which is the gamma amino butyric acid. Again, I practiced that one as well today. This is the main inhibitory neurotransmitter acting on GABA brain receptors. So GABA is our neuro um, in inhibitory it is pretty much the best way that i like to explain it is it's the breaks to the nerves brain and the spinal cord so if you are feeling a certain way and you're very anxious and overwhelmed or whatever the situation is that's what the um gaba does is it just takes the breaks and slows you down a little bit so that's what this one particular factor does when it's com in combination with these other um, powerful herbs So the important cofactors is just the neurotransmitters in our brain. So we have these little transmitters that conduct through the brain, and then we have one transmitter and the other, and then they'll connect to create it. So sometimes when we're overstimulated, these neurons can lead to anxious feelings. And that goes into our nervous system, right? Nervous system. When it becomes nervous and anxious, then it can react that certain way. So by introducing the GABA into it is going to help create that better stimulation for the neurotransmitters to connect so they can help take away that, um, that nervous feeling. And if you kind of think about it as like vibration, we have this really anxious sort of vibration. These essential oils are very high vibrational, so they're gonna help calm and create that shift with us. The next one is the Scalectium root. Again, hopefully I said that right. <laughs> this consists of four main alkaloids for the neurotransmitter support. So I was looking up this root. This root comes from South Africa, and it's made on a lot of stuff that I was reading about it. It is really great to enhance our mood and cause relaxation. So the important cofactors of the alkaloids is to support the body's ability to sustain both serotonin and GABA. So that's what the um, the the with the alkaloids or plant compounds. They're actually used in chemotherapy. To um, they're actually concentrated and put into chemotherapy to help fight cancer. But when you take um, compositions of plants and break them up so much, it actually becomes a little bit toxic. Obviously, you see what chemo does to people. But if you can use plants in their natural form, it's really cool to see, again, what these, these tools can do for you between the GABA, the selectium, and then with the alkaloids. The last one is the ahi flower. This is a rich source of omega-3 fatty acid, so to support a number of healthy brain functions. So this is our vegan omega-3 fatty acid. It's different from fish or flaxseed oil in that it's converted in the body into biologically active forms of fatty acid. So this is used to help reduce any chronic inflammation. When our body becomes inflamed, that can also create a lot of stress stressors on the body, which again will not allow our transmitters to connect. 
So the essential fatty acids are critical elements to support brain function and the structure. So a combination of all of these together will create the adaptive blend. The next thing, so before we were talking about going through the system, using the adaptive capsules and then now we'll be talking about the olfactory pathway which is inhaling or bringing it in through our limbic system. Okay, um, so the adaptive, the oils inside the adaptive blend I'm um, going to start from the right. It's going to be wild orange, which is very uplifting. Um, so when you use this blend, be careful outside because it has the wild orange. We talked about the photosynthetic uh, properties in that. Spearmint is also very uplifting. We have lavender, which is very calming and grounding. Neroli is really good for healing. It's also very calming. It's got sweet gum in there, and then it's got the copaiba or copaiba in there as well. And the copaiba is um, a little bit like CBD, and it binds to, but the copaiba binds to the CB1 and CB2 receptors. Um, it's also less expensive than CBD and a lot safer. So, um, vital elements for our healthy cognition is rest and then focus. So a lot of times we overwhelm ourselves with, many, with whatever it is that we're dealing with, whether it's emotional, whether it's mental, whether it's physical things. And sometimes we need to take a step back, pause, take a step back and take a break, whether it's changing the activity that we're doing or just playing like resting, um, resting us, meditating or relaxing without like external influences like TVs or radios or whatever just calming ourselves down a little bit and then refocus our brain so that we can go back to whatever task we were doing or maybe refocus it onto something else. Maybe that could be a little bit more productive before going back to whatever it is that we need to focus on after that. And then our emotional stability helps us respond to demands. So learning how to manage our stress with our mood uh, a lot of times, uh, I used to describe it as sometimes when something happens to us, we put on different glasses. So like I put my glasses because something happened to me this morning. So I'm upset. And like all the day, like I go around and like I look at the sun and I'm like, oh, the sun is so hot. And then I like I get to something and I'm like, oh, everything is annoying because I just put those glasses on. And like everything that I see is annoying. But sometimes like maybe something really good happened and it's like, oh my God, I'm in a great mood. And then you put your great mood glasses and I'm like, I can do everything. Everything is fantastic. The sun is amazing or it's raining. I'm like, oh my God, the rain is amazing. Like rain is awesome for the plants. And like everything that you do in your life is depending on what, you, how you see things. So if I put my glasses to like, everything looks great, then everything that you're going to see is going to feel like that. But if you put your glasses and you're like, everything's crappy, then it's going to kind of feel like that. So we're going to learn how to manage our mood based on our, like, on our stress, how to manage our stress, and then how we can create that in our mood. Uh, so mind wellness, uh, when we rest, focus, uh, we control our stress levels and our mood, it helps to work everything in harmony. So doTERRA recently came out with the app. It's called um, the doTERRA Adaptive System. Unfortunately, it's still under a trial basis, but I wanted to talk about it because it has some really good ideas. Um, first of all, when you open the app, it has your name on there. It asks you how you're doing. There's um, little meditation courses on there. There's um, courses to balance your life, to calm, relaxation. There's also a really cool journaling prompt on here which I'm not a really big like pen to paper kind of person, but I think it's really cool to journal on here because you can speak into it. It also has um, affirmations of the day. So when it asks you to read the affirmation to the app and it kind of detects in your voice how you're feeling today or what kind of mood you're in. And then I think it's kind of cool because you can look back and see, oh, I had you know, a great week and that's really uplifting. Or you can say, you know, I had a couple tough days. Let me take a little bit more time out for myself. Or maybe let me do a little 
10 minute meditation for myself. So it's kind of cool because it helps you keep track of, you know, your progress and um, all that stuff. And there's also on there, you can let them know if you use the oils, if you use the um, supplements that day. So I think it's a really cool app. It's just not available right now, but there's a waiting list. I think if you Google doTERRA adaptive system app, a page pops up and if you scroll to the bottom, you can put your name and your email and they'll put you on the waiting list for when it's available again. So that pretty much concludes our educational portion of today's class. If you guys have any questions about adaptive or how to use the oil or the supplement, again, you can type in the chat, let us know, but we super appreciate you sitting down and reviewing this amazing, powerful essential oil blend. Um, next, we're going to shift gears and just um, go over a little bit about um, the three types of people and about how to get started with doTERRA. All right, so the first is being a retail customer. Um, we usually don't recommend that. So this is the most expensive. Usually you'll find it in like a salon um, if you just, they have random oils there, but you can purchase them through retail. So that's one of the ways you can get started with the essential oils. You can reach out to the wellness advocate that invited you and we can share our link. The second way to get involved with doTERRA is to become a wholesale customer. So you get the best products for the best prices. It's pretty much like Costco or Sam's Club. Um, you'll get access to 25% below retail, which is the same price that we, um, all the wellness advocates get with our essential oils. The membership fee is $35 for the year, meaning that you join with $35 and you can order your oils a la carte. So if there's specific oils that you need, that's one way that you can do it. And then you have access to ordering these oils throughout the entire year. You already have the membership fee. The renewal fee the following year is actually really cool what they do. It's a $25 renewal fee, but they throw in a free peppermint oil, which is worth like $22. So it's actually like $3 to get renewed with doTERRA. If you decide to enroll with a kit, the kit will waive a $35 enrollment fee and it'll start you off with some of the top 10 oils to help you get started with your health journey. As a wholesale customer, you have access to a library of resources. Um, you have personal mentorship with the wellness advocate that enrolled you. We'll do a wellness um, consultation. And as you can see, like today, we always, always have continuing education classes. So if you need information about essential oils and pets or essential oils and immunity, we either are going to be hosting the class soon, or we definitely have one on recording that we can send to you and teach you a little bit more about those specific needs. When you're learning about essential oils, you usually start with your main health concerns and then your knowledge goes from there. The third way that you could get involved with doTERRA is to become a wellness advocate like Laura, Erica, myself, and Kat all are. Um, you get the same benefits as a wholesale customer, plus you get bonuses and comp compensation. You'll get a personal website, access to self-development classes, and tons of training. The beautiful thing about our community is there's endless, endless amounts of educational and self-development resources that you can read, go on. A lot of it is mindset as well. And then becoming a wellness leader in your community, and that's what we love to do, is we want to teach you to educate you on how to use these oils. We're not just like, here, good luck, bye. No, we want to give them to you and be like, all right, this is what you're going to do. This is the protocol that you can, and then help guide you and steer you. So those are the three types of people that can get started in the ways you can enroll with doTERRA. The beautiful thing with the membership perks is a few things. One, there's a doTERRA loyalty reward program. So with the loyalty reward program, you can get up to 30% back of your order and points, which are then used like doTERRA money. 
Um, and when it comes to that loyalty reward program, it's like you have this membership with doTERRA, you're trying these oils, you're trying to make these um, changes in your life. So why not try one essential new oil a month? You can enroll with the loyalty reward program and then earn points to get free oils. So here's what I do with my LRP points. I redeem them for really expensive oils. So for instance, Melissa um, or Rose oil, I save all my points up to get the fancy oils. Um, try products for free that you probably normally wouldn't buy and then you can save up points um, to get gifts for people that's what I love to do and then stock up on items um, that you use frequently I have a whole um, backup of stuff if things were ever to go on I have my main essential oils the powerful ones that I use all the time for all of the specific needs So now uh, we're going to go over enrollment kits. The first one is called the Healthy Essentials Kit. It is $332 or as a retail $249 as a wholesale customer. Um, and it's 200 points. Uh, what Alina was explaining about the point system. Uh, it includes On Guard for immunity, the lemon for cleansing, the balance for grounding, the copaiba for calming, adaptive for calming as well, the digest then for anything belly related, peppermint for anything, breathing and headaches, um, breathe for respiratory, respiratory, respiratory system, uh, the deep blue for the muscles and the lavender for sleeping or calming. This other one, um, they're talking about the adaptive enrollment kit. Um, it's 200 retail, 150 wholesale, uh, and 100 point, 120 points. So it includes the um, 50 milliliter oil, the adaptive roller, and the adaptive capsules. Um, I love to have my adaptive roller with me. Like anywhere I go, I have it in my little like bag i carry it with me whenever i feel stressed when i'm outside the house especially uh the adaptive oil i use it a lot for diffusion to diffuse it in the house and then the capsules are one of my favorite things because this is what i usually take when i'm like really really anxious um i take a capsule from them so doTERRA also has other enrollment kits that you can um <clears throat> look into option to buying. So I'm going to read them off my phone because the screen's a little small. But the first one is the Healthy Home Kit. So that one is going to include a diffuser. It's going to include the On Guard hand washing soap, which is amazing. The On Guard concentrate, which is really good for making all your um, home cleaning products. Um, let's see, the On Guard hand sanitizer spray and the On Guard toothpaste, with which um, doTERRA just remade. Um, let's see, it's got your On Guard 15 milliliter. It's got frankincense, which is amazing. Lemon, which Laura talked about. It's got Melaleuca, which now they um, changed the name to tea tree. It's really good for skin. Tea tree is amazing for your skin. It's got oregano, which is really good for you're not, you're not feeling well, or it's really good for cooking. If you put a couple of drops of oregano um, in your rice right before it's done, it tastes amazing. Peppermint is really good. It's cooling. I make a peppermint spray. I take it to the beach with me. The Breathe is amazing. My mom has um, pulmonary disease. She loves the Breathe. Digest and for the stomach, deep blue, and lavender. It also comes with the shampoo and conditioner. Let's see, and the, the little pump. The middle one is the Healthy Habits. It comes with the vitamins that we talked about. It comes with a probiotic, the Terrazyme, the deep blue rub, which I keep um, in my office right next to my desk. I use it every single day. Um, then it comes with the smaller bottles of the frankincense, lavender, balance, lemon, and then the On Guard. And then the last kit, which is the Healthy Start Kit, is gonna kit, uh, have the little Brevi diffuser. And then it's got a, the small bottles of oregano, deep blue, lavender, lemon, breathe, On Guard, frankincense, peppermint, and then the tea tree again. I think that's the one I got started with.
So thank you all for joining us today. Of course, if you have any other questions, please feel free to type into the chat. Let us know if you're interested in getting started with doTERRA essential oils and you want to enroll in a kit, please again reach out to the wellness advocate that invited you here and we will help and continue to assist you on your journey. But thank you again for being here this lovely afternoon. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Renee Consuelo for joining. Thank you, Kai. Bye, Kat. <laughs>